Alright guys, so we're back. <coughs> so as you can see I look a little different. Um I am also a rank seventeen. Um and yeah my my ship went through some uh upgrades as well. That's why it looks a little different. Um but don't want to take too long. I was able to find a more powerful reactor. So now um, I have more power uh, that I'm able to put to my shields and also my engines uh, in battle, which helps a, a whole lot. Uh, it was quite a while. It took an effort. Oh, I increased my shields too. If you notice, it looks a little different. I put a different shield modulator on the back. So, uh, so yeah, so this is the uh, Razor Leaf. Um, I also, I finally got my sticks just right, so my space combat is a lot better now. And with my skills that I've been increasing, um, you know, I, I do a lot better, it's a lot, it's a lot smoother. Uh, so I took off the Mantis um, suit also, and I put this one on. I think this, um, I'm not going to get into all of that, uh, but... I was watching a few videos and what they were suggesting is that you try to find a very um a system that's um far far out way above your level right so i went out to where did i go i went all the way out here where is it is it this one it's a level 45 i think i went further than that was it this? Okay, so it must have been this. So I went all the way out here. I think that's the farthest. Yeah. I went all the way out here to a rank 45 system. Alright? And... Oh, is it this one? Yeah, so I went to a rank 45 system. I can't... Yeah, I think it was Rutherford, actually. And uh, I did some farming there. Uh, the reason for doing that is because in the higher level systems... Uh, you get better loot, and if you fight the higher level enemies in those systems, uh, you really get the chance for much better loot. So, that's what I've been doing, and I've been able to get, um, like for instance, I got this. Uh, sorry. I, well, I got this, but that's not the one I want to show you. Wait, is it? Let me see. So, I got quite a bunch. Um, let's see, let's make this real quick. Oh, so it's this one, right? Which is, is it the same? Yeah. Yeah, so this one, the laser sight, it's semi-automatic, right? But look at the damage on that. It's 104, okay? And it has, uh, I get the cornered perk, which is damage increases as my health goes down. And I also get the lacerate perk, which randomly applies a bleed effect to the target. Now that, so when you shoot guys and they drop behind cover, you can see the health still going down. It's really, it's really good. I also got this, which is, well, this is the normal one. I got the upgraded one to that. Um, I got all of these actually. Uh, let me show you the other one. Oh, my dad gave me this. It's really cool. I think you guys saw that. This here, this is insane. Again, 100 base damage, 30% against, 30% increase against aliens, 30% increase. If they attack after hitting a target's limbs, every four shot fires two project. I mean, this is insane. So I picked these up um, off a of high level guys in that high level system. And you can watch videos that give you instructions as to how to do it. Uh, it took me a while to do that. And so that's I got the suit as well. Uh, so that's what ended up. Um, so this is what. Yeah, I like this. It's a legendary. I like this a little better than the Mantis, and it certainly looks better. And once I add this pack to the back, um, I can go chameleon, which means when I duck, I actually turn invisible. All right, so um, that's that's enough talking, right? So that's um. How's it going? It's going good. I also, everybody's on my ship now, so 
is Koa's daughter, uh, I think, uh, Bart, and my, um, well, Bart is upstairs, this is my guy who can handle my, um, oh, so Bart is in the cockpit. Oh, pardon me. You go. Is that your stomach or mine? No, that was the ship. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, I want to talk to, uh, uh, Bart, I want to have a private conversation with, um, with Sarah. Never mind. Sorry. Okay, so Here's something else. Uh, yes, Captain. Okay. So, Sarah, you wanted to talk to me for a while. You want to talk now? Where were we? Oh, yes. I was in command of the Dauntless at the battle in the Cassiopeia system. We fought for hours, but the damage was fatal. I gave the order to abandon the ship, and the crew piled into the escape shuttle. As the shuttle launched, I could see it was damaged. I... I heard screams before the radio cut. The last thing I saw, they were... spiraling helplessly towards the planet's surface. There was... There was nothing I could do. Ah. Uh. I'm really sorry about that, Sarah. That's, that sounds really tough. You're sorry? For me? If I hadn't been so stubborn, so eager to prove that I could handle command, my crew would have had more time to escape. <clears throat> what did your superiors say about your actions? My superiors? When the dust settled, the United Colonies gave me a medal. Can you believe that? A damn medal! I never even had a chance to find the shuttle wreckage and give my crew a proper burial. How did you get off the Daedalus? After I checked every section of the ship for wounded crew, I took the other escape shuttle. If I hadn't, I would have died. The Dauntless came apart minutes after I escaped. Well, at least you're still alive to honor your crew's legacy. I mean, that's good, right? That's true. But still, it doesn't erase the real issue here. You once told me, no matter how hard you fight, there are some battles you simply can't win. I wish I had heard your advice long ago. Don't you get it? Everything I do, everything I touch, somehow falls apart. That's why I'm worried about us. Worried about us? You mean Constellation? Look, it's, it's clear, clear the two of us are becoming more partners. We're becoming close friends. Even though I've pushed people away in the past, I feel different when I'm around you. I feel... safer. Comfortable. Not afraid to admit who I am. I'm terrified I'm going to screw that up. Don't worry, you can't get rid of me that easily. <laughs> All this nonsense and you still have faith, eh? You really care about me, don't you? We're partners. I'll always have your back, Sarah. Always. And I'll have yours. All right, partner. I suppose it's time we get back to work. Thank you for being there, for listening to me when I needed it the most. I'll never forget this. I promise. Alright, so, um... Ah. Who opened this door? So, we're still here at Aquila City. 
I see something. So let's um let's talk to Emma Wilcock and let's see what's going on here. I also need to buy some more ammunition. Sarah, you coming? Let's go. Hey, Captain. Need yeah. Now I'm good. It's me and Sarah on this run. I right, can see you all in a bit. What can I do for you, boss? Just take care of the ship while I'm gone. Later. No Vasco, it's me and Sarah on this run. But later. Um, yeah, a place where we could buy firearms. Yeah, I need to get some more ammo, so, um, let's see. So, Aquila City is walled because of the, uh, the Ashtaroth, that's what they're called. Uh, they're like this, um, this creature that resembles a wolf slash T-Rex. Let's go slow around here. Performance is not so good. Hey. Howdy. Howdy. Alright, so where do we go? Shepherd's General Store. Warward Arms? Okay. Let's, uh, we get some, we need some ammunition because... Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at my guns. Um, okay, yeah, let's do this quick. So this takes, what, 11 millimeters? Uh, oh, I also got this knife, which is insane. But we'll talk more about that later. Uh, what is this? I think I got a lot of this. Seven millimeters. I got a lot of that. All right? This gun is pretty nice, actually. So we need 11. Uh, what else? Yeah, 11. Seven. And, oh, we need more. 9.39. And, uh, yeah. I got rid of um, my other sniper because it was just too weak. 11, 7, and 9.39. Those bandits from the Shaw Gang. This can be a dangerous place. Best to carry a reliable piece. Um, I need some 11 millimeter, some 9.7 millimeter, and some 7.7 millimeter. You got those? Just so you know, keep it to self-defense. Um, okay, I guess I just gotta look for myself. All right. Okay, so we need 11. Boom, so we get, we'll we take all. Uh, this stuff is expensive too. What else? We need a 9.7. It's 7.7, .7, right? Or was it 7.5? I don't think I need that though, because I think the nine, yeah, I need this. Okay. Alright. How much? Thanks. Uh, Sarah, you said he's gonna get something? Go ahead. I just gotta check my stuff. Um, Alright, so let's see. Alright, so how much? So right now I have 1400 rounds. Oh, this? Oh, I I unfavored it because there's only look fourteen damage on this. I went with my other bad boy. This one is twenty one damage. There's a thousand rounds. Where is it? This one has a hundred damage. I mean, wow, four hundred rounds. I think I need more. 
um, let's, I need more, so, uh, let's, um, let's wait. Yeah, so when you wait, some people say 24 hours, some people say 48 hours, we'll see. Uh, the vendor's supposed to refresh their stock, so. Um, yeah, that gun, that's not my go-to weapon. It is very powerful, and I love the perk where it drains, it causes uh, enemies to bleed. It is nice. It doesn't have a sniper on it. Sorry, it doesn't have a, a silencer, a suppressor on it. But I've noticed that when if I'm in chameleon mode, which means I'm if I'm keeping still and I go invisible, if I get a kill like that, I still get the it's considered a stealth kill, I think. Alright, so Alright, so we'll see if it's uh twenty four hours or or forty eight hours. You ask, I don't do payment plans or lines of credit, and I don't sell to shady individuals. If you can handle that, your money's welcome here. Uh, you don't seem very pleasant, but anyway. Don't make me regret this now. I'll keep my mouth shut next time. Alright, so what I said again, the 11... Where is it? I don't see it, so I guess it was 48 hours. Alright, so let's sit back down. And let's wait another 24 hours. After this, I'll go and check that lady. Um, I think I'm gonna join up to the Freestar Collective um, the Rangers. Uh, go on some official missions so you guys can see that. Now that my ship is in a, you know, a, a better state, and I, I, at least I can fly it better now, <laughs> um, it should be more a pleasant experience uh, while I'm uh, dogfighting. And so um, we'll see what, uh, what the ranges, uh, what type of missions they have for me. This, uh, this takes its own slow time. All right, so, okay, do you have it now? I don't do payment plans or line. Yeah, heard you last time. Oh, so you like me now. Okay, so she liked when I cut her off. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, ah, there it is. So it is, it's uh, 48 hours, All right? Seven thousand dollars for these, man. That's expensive. What was the other one? A nine point this. Two thousand for these. Uh, okay. Let's go, Sarah. Actually, Sarah, I want to give you. Can I help? I want to give. I only carry the good stuff. <laughs> well, Just I'm gonna give you some good stuff. Uh, so, let's go to my inventory. Weapons. Um, I need to keep at least one laser. So when I, what is this? Is this a laser? No, that's a shotgun. Which one I wanted to give her? That's a shotgun as well. Nope, that's me. I, I wanted to give her the regular one. Right, and also, yes, I wanted to give her this. I'll keep the super crazy one. Okay. Anything else to it? I'll keep this because just in case I get in a situation where I need a laser, at least I still have this. Okay. Goodbye. All right. So let's go. So I guess this is Sam Co. In the flesh. Well, in the stone. No, not Sam Co. What's, what's his name? Sorry. Sam Co is my guy. Crimson Fleet is 
everywhere these days, spreading like a virus through the settled systems. I like to set up shop in old facilities. Places abandoned in the colony war. That way, they can strike anywhere. You okay? All right, let's go. Uh, I forget. I forget the name of the. Law just got back from two weeks in Paradiso. Place looked amazing, but if I have to look at one more vacation photo, I'm gonna clean his clock. Paradiso sounds like paradise. Planning on staying a while, we could grab a room at the Stone Root Inn. Mostly. Oh, you've been here before. I guess I'm not used to having the tube out. But it's nothing that would keep me from getting back out there. You need to give it more. Yeah, so this this is what the Ashta look like. I guess that means you won't be telling the marshal that I'm approved for field duty. What are you guys talking about? It's a real western vibe in here. Seems that way. That's pretty crazy. By shark gang standards. Well, nobody ever accused those boys of having an overabundance of common sense. Need something? Oh, uh, yeah. You got some business with me? Um, the Marshal sent me? Oh, well, if the Marshal sent you to me, that means he's looking to recruit you. Just so you know what you're getting into, I'll explain who we are and what we do. Well, the Freestar Rangers ensure the safety and security of the Freestar Collective and its people. We might hunt down a fugitive, break up a smuggling operation, investigate a starship theft, or put some would-be bank robbers behind bars. Whatever needs doing to keep the people safe, we do. Ah, uh, that's admirable. Like most things that are worth doing, it ain't always easy. But, do I think we make the Freestar Collective a little safer for everyone? Yeah, I do. I imagine you've got some questions. I'll answer anything I can. Yeah, I notice you're not looking directly at me, but that's cool. Yeah, what authority do you guys actually have? Are you like the police? You work for the government? Well, in theory, a Freestar Ranger can go anywhere in Freestar Collective Space, uh, even private property. But of course, it doesn't always work out that way. We also have jurisdiction over any local security when we're tracking the fugitive. Are there a lot of Rangers? The number's always changing due to retirements, recruiting, and unfortunately, death in the line of duty. But, as far as I know, there's never been more than a dozen rangers at any one time. Oh, okay. Um, how does it pay? Or do you guys even pay? I'll say right up front that if you're looking to get rich, this ain't the line of work for you. But, yeah, we do get paid from time to time to help with expenses and such. Yeah, I mean, folks around here don't exactly look rich, but that's cool. I guess I need... I know what I need to know, so, um, let's continue. Okay, then. A word about myself. I'm in charge of making sure anyone that wants to be a Freestar Ranger is up to the task. That being said, the Marshal wouldn't send you here if he didn't think you had potential. So, what's it gonna be? Are you ready to sign up with the Freestar Rangers? Let's join. It's a dangerous job, but an important one. As long as you leave room for your commitments to Constellation, we won't have any problems. Before I hand you a badge, I need to know you can handle the job. You helped out with the hostage situation, but sometimes people just get lucky. Tell you what, use the mission terminal and take one of the listed jobs. Your choice. Come back alive, and we'll talk about you joining up. Okay, let's do the mission. Then I suggest you get going. Work hard, play hard. That should be the Freestar motto. 
Well, hey there. What's up with this guy? Akil is really the heart of the Freestar Collective. Okay. Don't be causing trouble now. I don't intend to. Let's check out the mission board. Killed outlaw captain on Bodhi. Okay, so we'll take this one. And then... Indium? Bodhi? Well, lead on particular medicine, you know. So on the Bodhi system, deserted relay station, abandoned mineral. I don't know where any of these places are. Another blast. Okay, let's just grab this one. Okay, so hopefully we'll have luck with one of them, right? <laughs> let's go. So y'all brought that exit sign from 300 years ago in the past. It's pretty cool. You're probably looking for Mary. Um, no, actually. Let's go, Sarah. Are you looking for Mary? No. Moment. The rock isn't exactly massed, but as seats of government go, it's still quite an impressive structure. Station. It used to be an actuary. Now look. Oh, an actuary? I mean, you're a pretty smart guy. Actuarial science is no easy thing. So, I mean, things are pretty tough around here. So as you can see, I removed the missile rack from the bottom, so it's no longer clipping through. And I have all three of them up top, so it's one, two, and the other one is here. And then I get four of the beam, particle beams. Uh, these missile rocks are different. They're technically a little weaker than the old ones, but I needed a Starship design level one to get them, and I had to make use of that perk in order to rank it up. Let's go guys. Yes. Good to that. Alright Barrett. Yeah? No, just Halen. What's up? Everything's good. Alright. So, complete the freestar, kill out, uh, so let's go after the Crimson Fleet guy. Right. Uh, what level system is this? It's five jumps away, it's 15 light years. It's a level 10 system. Yes, 
we are. Check out the other one. Where is this? Whoa. So this is 60. How much? 50 and light. No, this is 62 light years away. Five jumps, but this is a level 25 system. This isn't going to be as easy. Let's do it. I guess we're going to be landing on this moon. A deserted relay station. That's where our friend is. Let's go. I like you. She's a part of my crew. Alright, so... Can't stay here for too long. Take out the outlaw. Okay, so this is where we are. Moon is ready, 83% scanned. since I'm here, right? Yeah, if you notice, I'm not picking up all this stuff anymore, because I don't need to make myself over-encumbered. K-1 
too. We might, we might check that out. On our way, on our way back. Alright, so this was a level, what, 20 something system, right? So this might be a little difficult. stuff. So we are here, this person is up on the second level, don't make sense for us to go down. Let's uh, stay on the high ground, Sarah. Are you what I need? You gonna put me up to 100? No? Anything else while we up here? So this person is in the hub, and that's the door right there. Is that was that a spacer or was it a parrot? I think that the spacers are a little bit more violent than the pirates actually. Oops. This one is a level 14. So, they know we're here. You gonna come out to us? Oh, well, Sarah. They already know we're here, so let's go loud. What you gonna do? You gonna come outside? Sarah's coming up the other ways. Sushi, I don't want no sushi. Uh, that's... Sarah, you scare me. You scare me. 
Alright, let's do this. That's why I like this gun. Sarah, be careful. Right back at you. Stick your head out. in this office he was trying to get in there. Requires a key. Being way more selecting of the stuff I'm taking. So when I get back into town, I need to buy some more um, med packs. What's this? A modified Orion. What is an Orion? A laser rifle. Alright, so let's get out of here, sir. Let's go. Ready to suit up? to Vladimir. How far is this? Three meters. How far is that?
Hey, Vladimir is, is the constellation guy way up on the space station. So, is that pointing somewhere like very far away? Oh, so it's just saying that, but he's actually very far away. Okay, let's, let's finish scanning. Okay, I said we can check out this cave, right? Still got time. No? I thought that was it. Okay, this is something. Helium. Okay, we should do it. Yes. Alright, so. So this plan is this moon. This surveyed. go inside this uh, cave then we get back and talk to Wilma Wilma what's her name uh, Sarah okay They didn't say anything was going to be in here. It's just a, it's just a cave, right? Okay, I don't think we need to be ducking. So when we start mining a rock pile, when we start mining, this is the type of place we'll come back to, right? Alright, so... Nothing spectacular in here. Alright, let's get out of here. I didn't even see what was in it. I guess we go back, go back up. All right, let's get out of here. So time is a wasting. It's beautiful out there. I mean, look, just look at that. It is nice. It's nice. I mean, it is nice. Starfield. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. What else? That's cool too. NASA? Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, where's the ship, Sarah? Because I don't think I'm going to walk all the way back. Be ready for fully survey this planet this morning. 
Where is the ship? Is it here? Relay station. So the ship should be here. Yes. <clears throat> so that's how you fast travel back to your ship. Hey, Captain. Where are we headed next? Go. Remember when I took that? I guess it's good to take photos because for stuff just like this, <laughs> that's a pleasant memory actually. I picked up something you might be interested in. What? Something you need? Well, you said you have something interesting for me. I do. You must, you must have read, read my mind. mind. Well, you just said it. Met metabolic agent who? Hey, Time some... to go? Yeah, because there's some weird gifts, Sarah. Just let you know. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. I can hear the radio station in my ship. That'd be cool. That's right. Infirmary, okay. Monstrox? Monstro? Monstro? Sorry, what, what did that say? Monstro. Manifestations of the self through stories in folklore and mythology the monsters within us revealed monstro okay it's like a monster play or something like that all right so Hiya. i did two of your missions it's brewed in the city and it ain't bad okay you you've got pick. potential just need to see a little more from Oh, you're back. How'd it go? How'd it 
Uh, the mission missions were success. I'm ready to take the next step. Good. You did what I asked, so let's go meet the marshal. Follow me. Like I said before, there are less than a dozen rangers in all, and we operate with limited resources. Thankfully, most people respect us and are willing to cooperate. This job, your eyes, ears, and wits are every bit as important as your badge and your sidearm. Excuse me, Marshal. Emma, I take it you're here because you're satisfied that our new recruit can handle the job. Seems capable enough, and we could use the help. All right then. Step forward, recruit. Let me have a word with you. I've got just one question. Do you pledge to defend the people of the Free Star Collective, even if it means risking your own life? Absolutely, Marshal. Good. Here, take these. You're now a Free Star Ranger deputy. I'm assigning you to Ranger Wilcox for some field training. Listen good to what she tells you. Welcome aboard, Deputy. You've made a wise choice, but I trust that your duties as a Ranger won't interfere with your service to Constellation. Wish we could throw you a welcome party, but there's work to do. We got word from a farmer on Montero Luna. She says someone's trying to take a farm, and she's afraid she might be in danger. Time for some rough justice, then. Whoa! How about you ease back, back on the on throttle, throttle there, deputy? deputy. Violence, Violence is the is last the resort. You don't, you don't draw, draw your weapon, weapon unless innocent, innocent lives, lives are in danger. danger. Grab, Grab any, any supplies, supplies you might need, need and let's, let's get, get going. going. Pay attention to what Ranger Wilcox tells you. Okay. For now, uh, can I take a seat? All right, so let's um, pause it there. Um, I guess we can take a photo since we're all inside the ranger's office. Uh, let's take a normal one first. Uh, nah, nah. This is kind of dark. Yeah, it's better. Uh, uh, Come on, I want some of the freestyle rangers. This one is nice, actually. Nope, what's that? Okay, so let's go with this. Alright, so let's call it a day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.